today in this video we will discuss some problems related to refraction in a spherical surface and some problems related to lens makers formula and thin lens formula and combination of lenses okay so we will start with our first question here you can see the light from a point source in air falls on a convex spherical glass surface refractive index is given by 0.5 radius of curvature is given by 20 cm distance of light source from the glass surface is 100 cm at what position the image is okay so this is the problem related to refraction at a convex spherical surface so you know the formula what is the equation minus n1 by u plus n2 by v is equal to n2 minus n1 by v where n1 is the refractive index in which that object is kept u is object distance v is image distance n2 is the refractive index where the image is the refractive index of the medium where the image is formed and r is the radius of the image so here also we have to apply sign convention according to sign convention we are assuming that light is incident from left to right all distances measured in the direction of incident light is taken as positive opposite negative high is above the principal axis positive high below the principal axis negative so we can say that in the case of convex surface radius of curvature will be positive we can write r is equal to plus 20 cm object distance will be always negative so u is equal to minus 100 cm n1 is 1 it is given that it is here And then two. And so on. We have substituted this formula and we have to find. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So minus one by u is minus hundred plus one point five by v is equal to here n two minus n one. N two is one point five. Minus one divided by r. What is the value of r? This r r is given twenty centimeter. What you get? One by hundred plus one point five by two is equal to zero point five divided by. Or you can get. This can be written as five into ten raised to minus one by ten g. Is it? And one point five by three is equal to. This can be written as one by forty minus one by ten. Okay. So here in this diagram you can see 
O is the position of the object and OA is the incident ray and AB is the refracted ray here which is in here. So this is the refractive index. We can write M2 to the is 1.5 and here the refractive index is 1. And object where final image it is given, that image distance it is given, but it is given that is appears to be 1 centimeter. So image distance is already given. Image distance is minus 1 centimeter. And radius it is mentioned it is 2 centimeter. So this temperature is again it is negative minus 2 centimeter. And what you have to find? You have to find the object distance. Okay. Is it clear? So we can write the formula minus here we have to write minus n2 by u plus n1 by v is equal to but we have to write n1 minus n2 by v
refractive index of the material of the lens and N1 is the refractive index in which that it is kept. N1 is the refractive index of the medium in which the lens is kept. Is it clear? So in this formula, N2 stands for the refractive index of the material of the lens. N1 is the refractive index of the medium in which the lens is kept. And R1 and R2 are the radial of temperature. And whether it is to be taken positive and negative, that it is clear from this, from this expression. Okay. Now we can go to the problem. So here what I see, what I have given is made of a glass of refractive index 1.5. So, which is given N2 is So, we can write N2 is equal to 1.5. You have to find the focal length of the lens in N. Okay. So, N1 you can write it as 1. Again, R2. R2 is positive for concave lens. Both radial of temperature same 30 centimeter. So, R2 is equal to plus 30 centimeter. And R1 is equal to minus 30 centimeter or in other words very easily we can say that 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2 is negative for concave lens and 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2 is positive for okay now we can substitute in this formula we can write 1 by F is equal to N2 1.5 by 1 minus 1 into Minus 1 by 30 minus 1. So 1 by F is equal to 1.5 minus 1, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 into minus 2 by 30. Hmm. Or you can write 5 minus 5 is equal to minus 1 into 2 by 30. 5 to start 10. What you will get? You will get focal length is equal to minus 36. Yes. Is it clear? Focal length of the lens, concave lens in air is given by minus 36. Is it clear? Now we will discuss the difference. A bi convex lens has a focal length half of the radius of temperature of either surface. What is the refractive index of the material? Here it is not mentioned that whether it is kept in any medium, which medium. So if it is not given in which medium it is kept, we have to consider that it is kept in air. Unless and until it is given in the problem, you can assume that it is kept in air. Okay. So we know the refractive index formula 1 by F is equal to N2 minus N1 by N1 equal to 1 by R1 minus N1. It is given that by convex. Half of the radius of curvature of either surface. So both surfaces having same radius of curvature. So if we are writing, we can write 1 by F is equal to N2 value. We can, it is not given N2 minus 1. By assuming that it is kept in air by 1 into 1 by R1, we can write 1 by R minus minus r so here we can write what is r is given what is r radius of the by convex lens has a focal length half of the radius of the so 1 by r by 2 is equal to n2 minus 1 into so we can cancel this what we will get N2 minus 1 is equal to 1 or N2 is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Okay. Is it clear? Because it is 1 by R by 2. If it goes to numerator, what it will become? It will become 2 by R and this 2 by R will get cancelled. So N2 minus 1 is equal to 1 or we will get N2 is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So that is the refractive index of the Okay, is it clear? You can see that 
focal length of a biconvex lens is 20 cm in the air. Refractive index of glass is 1.5. There is refractive index of glass means refractive index of the material of the lens it is given 1.5. We have to find the focal length of the lens when it is kept in a liquid having refractive index. Okay. Is it clear? So first case we can write 1 by f is equal to in air. When it is in air, we can write 1 by f is equal to n minus 1, where n is the refractive index instead of into we are writing n. N minus 1 into 1 by R1 minus N. Radial of temperature is 1. In second case, this is you can write 1 by F1. In second case, you can write 1 by F2 is equal to here if you are writing into minus 1. Okay, no problem. In second case, what you have to write? N2 minus N1 by N1 into 1 by R1 minus so this part remains same. Radio of temperature if it is kept in any medium also radio of temperature remains same. Okay. So you can divide these two equations. Equation 1 by 2 you can do. Equation 1 divided by 2. So I can get 1 by F1 into F2 by 1 is equal to. This will get cancer. What you will get? N2 minus N1 divided by or you can write N2 N1 by N2 so N2 minus N1 or N2 minus N1 N2 minus 1 N2 N1 by N2 ok and F1 and F2 you can substitute F2 you have to find F2 by F1 in first case, focal length is given 20. It's equal to refractive index value of 1.5 minus 1 into N1. N1 means in second case, it is kept in a medium having refractive index 1.6. 1.6 divided by 1.5 minus
equal to 0 0.5 into 1 by infinity is 0 which get minus 1 by half. Or you get 1 by half 2. Minus 1 by half 2 is equal to 1 by 18 into 0.5 is equal to 1 by 9. Or we can write half 2 is equal to minus 2 is equal to radius of curvature. Radius of curvature of one surface has 9 centimeter. Other surface is plain that should be equal to. We can substitute it as 1. Is it clear? Okay. A convex lens made of material of refractive index N2 is kept in the medium of refractive index N2. Place a path of parallel beam of light passing through the lens when N1 is N2, N1 less than N2, N1 greater than N2. So, all the cases we have to consider. So, the ray diagram of the diagram we can draw by considering. First of all, we have to find. We have to use the lens measures formula. With the help of lens measures formula, we have to see whether the focal length is positive or negative. Okay. So, first case we can consider N1 is equal to. You know the lens measures formula 1 by L is equal to N2 minus L1 by L1 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. I told you. For convex lens, we can we can write for convex lens one by R one minus one by R two is okay. This part is positive, no negative. Now we have to see depending on this part we have to check. So here it is given n one is equal to n one is equal to n two means what you get one by x is equal to n one. You will get this part zero. Then what is equal to it? Which means focal length is inside. So it will behave like a but glass layer or something. So what will be the ray diagram? So here we can show. Just we go. This is n one. Here also n it is given n two is equal to so the rays will go and deviate because of the length is inside. Now in the second case we can see n1 less than n2. n1 less than n2 again we can write the formula 1 by f is equal to n2 minus n1 by n1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So this term is positive. So this part is positive and here given n1 is less than n2. So what will happen to this term? This term also will be positive. So we can have 1 by f will be positive. Why it is positive? Because this term is positive already and given n1 is less than n2. So n2 minus n1 will be a positive quantity. Numerator by n1 will become refractive index positive like only. So we can say that 1 by f is positive or Focal length is positive, so it behaves like a normal actual convex lens. So we can go the way that way. Parallel light is incident, what will happen? All those rays will converge to. So this is that just can go properly. Okay. This is for second case. Now the third case, what happens in case three? What is given? N1 is greater than n. So our lens maker's formula is here 1 by f is equal to n2 minus n1 by n1 is to 1 by r1 minus n by r2. So here this term 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 is positive for a convex lens. So here n1 is greater than n. So what happens? This term will be negative. So we can write x is equal to 
which means even though it is a convex lens, since it is kept in a medium has a refractive index greater than the refractive index of the material, it behaves like a diverging lens. Our actual convex lens is here. So if parallel be most likely is in it, what happens? It will be Diverges. Okay, is it clear? Understood? No. Now the same problem, instead of convex lens, we can consider for concave. So what will happen? Just okay. So we will have it first. So here, concave lens is the same condition. N1 is equal to N2. So this term will be 0. No, this term will be 0. So focal length will become infinite. F is infinite. So we can see in the case of the concave lens. Okay. 